I like this truck. You want to know why? Da 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 Hey, look, a Bentley. All right, welcome to this week's episode of Piece of Z. I like my leg. <laughs> morning. It is 4.40 p.m. Not morning. I'm just leaving my studio. And uh, it was raining today. It wasn't actually supposed to be raining today. <laughs> yeah, nice weather you have here in Japan. Actually, I just saw in the weather forecast it's going to snow tonight, possibly. So, I literally posted on Facebook yesterday I wasn't expecting to see snow this year because of how warm it's been so far. Well, un you know, warm in comparison to how it normally is in Tokyo. And uh, then they tell me, oh yeah, it's going to snow tonight. <laughs> they didn't predict this yesterday, uh, Japan's weather, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you licking? Does my hand taste good or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> You're just so cute. <laughs> it's, it's raining. God damn it. It's raining and it's going to turn to snow. I hate you, Tokyo. I hate you so much. <laughs> Yo, it's like sleeting. Oh my god. Can I get some of this? Yep, this is sleet. It's a wintry mix. I'm surprised it's not icing over or anything yet. All these cars are just driving like normal. Can't wait for the snow. Apparently we're getting three inches of snow tonight. It's like half snowing, half raining. It's like both the raindrops that are falling and the whatever snowflakes that try to make it to the ground, they're beefy as all hell. I don't know if you can see it. You can probably see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it a little bit. This is really... Um, well, one, not smart of me to be out here without an umbrella, and this mother taxi driver right here almost ran me over, even though I got a, I got a green light. Yeah, um, apparently we're getting three inches of snow tonight, so uh, I guess I'm not gonna sleep until this stuff comes. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't get any snow. Oh well. <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> this is a bit odd. This thing's usually supposed to pass through here. It stopped here, this time. Not, not sure why. I wonder what it's doing here. Huh. I guess the trains are delayed, that's probably why. Or something or another. No idea. I'm at the climbing wall again with Ami, who's right here. But last week I was horrible at it. <laughs> and she showed me this video on YouTube on how to climb better, and that really helped. Got a lot more confidence, so uh, thank you. <laughs> You're a little bit camera shy right now. I'm getting better at it, but holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. I don't get it. I just got yelled at for throwing a football. With control. With Ami. Yo-Yogi Park has too many freaking rules. I don't, I don't get it. It's stupid. I just want to toss a football. It's not... I'm in control of the ball. I know how to throw a football. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, shit. I didn't know. Oh, God, hi. You're still recording. Hello. Nice day, though. <laughs> oh, laces. Yeah, like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kind of. Like that, yeah. That, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> In the end, uh, after the security guy left, he actually went over to a group of people playing soccer and started yelling at them for playing soccer. So after he left, the soccer people started playing again. 
So we started playing again. <laughs> Here, throw it at me. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta take the, put the chew high down. <laughs> All right, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I could have caught that if I had both hands. All right, ready? Ah, put the can down. You don't need to hold the can. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, don't worry about it. Ah. You need two hands to play it. What the hell are they doing? Yeah, he, the, the security dude yelled at those guys right there. <laughs> nice. She's getting good at, ca at throwing it. All right, go ahead. Nope, that was good. That was a good. That was a good throw. <laughs> it's all right. We're kind of close together. That's why. Good afternoon, wasn't it? Guy with a kite way up there. Right, that's the highest we've seen it. Uh, right, that's the highest we've seen a kite the whole day. So. Is it a tree? Oh, he got it higher. Wow, that is really high. Wow. They're trying to get it to go lower. They got a lot of string on that thing. You gotta alert the aircraft flying over here. That thing might hit it. <laughs> Spatula. <laughs>
and uh, this is the car in question. I just left my studio to go home. I, this is parked out in front of my studio. Um, Rengo! <laughs> The Japanese Trade Union Federation. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing here, but uh, they're not being loud or anything, so whatever, right? <laughs> Back in the old days of Japan, like the Japaning days of Japan, when uh, Japan's economy was kicking ass, there was two major groups that really set the course of Japan's future, and that was METI, which is the Ministry of Economic, or the Economy, Trade, and Industry, if I'm not mistaken, which is basically kind of the government saying, hey, all you private industries, this is what you guys are gonna do. So it wasn't necessarily capitalism, per se, but it kind of was like state-sponsored capitalism, which kind of what China is today, if you want to think about it that way. With them, you have all the labor unions, which uh, sort of divided and organized all the work together. And it worked out for a little bit, obviously, with Japan's economy skyrocketing and everything, but then uh, it started floundering, and then eventually uh, currency issues propagated, resulting in the bubble economy. By this time, Medi both Medi and uh, the uh, Trade Union Federation were both under heavy strains, and that culminated in a bubble bursting in 1991, so uh, my existence on this planet has coincided with the uh, denigration of Japanese economy, so yeah. You're welcome, Japan. <laughs> As part of my studies at Jochi, I have an extensive background in the uh, knowledge of how Japan's economy works. I've written a few uh, dissertation papers and research projects on it, so leave any questions you have in the comments if you want me to uh, answer them in a particular video, because you know, if you guys want me to talk about the history of Japan's business and how Japanese businesses operate compared to you know, American business, for example, I can definitely talk at length about that, but uh, I don't know if that would be appropriate for this YouTube channel, but you know, it's something I have an interest in making, so let me know if you guys want me to hear that or if you have uh, specific requests. I mean, one thing I could talk about is extensively is JAL versus ANA, the differences between the two airlines, especially since JAL in the last five years is a completely different being, so yeah, let me know. morning it's raining and it's also cold that's all I have to say about this this weather is the worst type of weather ever if you um, if you like this weather well you're the worst type of person ever yeah <laughs> Well, this building is open. It's a uh, Nomura place. This place was under heavy construction when I moved into the studio last year and uh, we're trying to take a look at today's stock market. <laughs> Alrighty then.